All right, so Heritage Rim from RC Four Wheel Drive. They made an ugly green one. Now they've made a white one. One point nine beadlock. Woo! Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Everybody cheer. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about it. That'd be cool, like on an old vintage car or something, maybe. But right? eh. crawling. And then cars. also, you remember the the uh, Pro Two Baja Pro X wheels like really chunky looking things well now they've released them in a one inch to go on the sx 24s and such so that's kind of a cool looking little sucker i'm sure you're going to see this on their new release for tomorrow on the sx 24 releases well that's what it looks like on a jeep on a jerp that's well, half bad <clears throat> and then Aaron was all excited because X-Ray released some shiny aluminum parts. So this is yeah. the X4 front steering hub. And then I thought you might get a kick out of this. <laughs> well, this is the Corrali Kronos XTR. So it's basically a roller. Um, it's just kind of like the uh, arm of Creighton uh, EXB, I think it is. I, this I, I like is, this idea. You like this idea? I like the idea because you put whatever electronics you want in there. You put the servo in there. Yeah. The kit stuff yeah. you get nowadays is so cheap and it doesn't. This even has really. all of the stuff that was ruined before that you know they were having issues with. They've upgraded now on this. So like one of the problems they had was that those are pulling out of the sockets. Chassis was flexing, so now there's a chassis plate or upper crossbar added in there. Uh, in that crossbar, there's been some stuff added, like there's a mount in there for a GPS. So you can put your, your GNSS in there and track your speed. It's actually designed to fit in there. Cool. Um, good spot for you to mount your power switch is up high now, so it's not down in the snow and getting wrecked. Easy to push it? Reach in yeah, there? Easier to, easier to reach in and push it. There's the oh. GNSS. So, you know, that stuff's not included, but they designed it so you can fit these things in easy. That's pretty cool. And they clip in somewhat strong. They Hard fix steel outputs. Hey. They upgrade the servo saver. They did upgrade the servo uh, plates. Those two or three mil plates now instead of a big plastic thing. Huh. Uh, and it looks to me like the main arm might be stronger too. And then, and then this is Charisma. This is another twenty-four scale from uh, Charisma. They came out with this. It's another D ninety. And I thought, you know, wait, that's kind of cool. Uh, no, that thing's kind of ugly. It's, it's ugly. It's it's ugly man. They're supposed to be ugly. Yeah, yeah. It's it's um. It's ugly. <laughs> and then speaking about drag racing, SSD came out with uh, Ooh. five hole drag. Those look nice. Rims. So there are two jo two choices. They're done in black or silver. It is an actual functioning beadlock rim. <clears throat> and fronts and rears. Fronts are still glues. Rears are your beadlock style, all aluminum. Pretty and shiny. Pretty. I put some glue on there too. Glue and screw yeah. it. Yeah. So, you know, if you're looking for aluminum beadlocks, there's a lot more options out there now. I know there's been some very expensive options out there, but they're starting yeah. to come down because more people are doing them now. <clears throat> it should so, be more true around, right? Yeah, I don't know how these are going to do going across the timing lights and stuff because there's some pretty big openings on these now. Remember that was a problem at first? Yeah. yeah. And for all you guys that like to video game RC, VRC is now putting out a basher in their line. Hmm. You can you can pick out a basher and race that for a while. You can bash yeah. a basher on the video game as well. You can bash a basher on a video game as, as well. Instead of going out and finding a snow pile and jumping it and launching it <laughs> off of that, because that would be way, way cooler. Hey, look, look who's there. That's a troublemaker. Who, who dat? Who dat? You know who that is. That's the other half of MMF. Half Moon Bay? Yeah. Who dis? Who dis? Who dat? Everybody says who dat? New phone. Who dat? Yeah, that's Tanya. Who dis? That's Tanya. Hi, boss lady. <laughs> so, anyways, 
uh, Futaba came out with a two port fast charger, 15 amps per side. I don't know if it's going to be illegal to sell in Canada yet because I don't see any uh, CSA approvals or anything on it. But finally, they're doing something. I don't know why they decided now to start making chargers. <laughs> and then all the drifter guys looking for Subarus, GRZ 2022 edition, wide body ish kind of look. Kind of ugly. From AP Plastics. That's a nice one. Oh, oh, I don't like that car. And it's got the light buckets and everything are actually molded in where the wheel wells are. So don't cut those up the wrong way. <laughs> and then my IS Pro Line. So they sneaked out all these pictures and stuff last week. And they finally released them. So this is the Toyota TRD. Uh, lots of people are saying they think the windows are too small and it looks a lot more like a Colorado. I agree. It, <laughs> it really does. Yeah, it does. It looks a lot like Colorado. I think they just kind of... I honestly think they just repurposed their Colorado mold that they've already got. It is a hard plastic grill insert that goes up in the front, so that'll make it look a little bit more realistic. It's not the Lexan look. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If you're a Toyota guy, yeah, but I'm not really jumping all over that one. And then they've also got uh, the Bronco because oh yeah why wouldn't they have a bronco right yeah everybody else has a bronco they better have a bronco this one is designed to fit on the stampedes and the granites uh basically the one tenth scale monster trucks uh i can see some people are going to take these and hack these bodies onto like the lmts and stuff as well like some of those monster trucks i could yeah. totally see some guys force forcing these bodies onto there so, yeah, that's another Bronco. <laughs> Proline likes their Ford bodies. They love their Ford bodies. I'm and then, what else the Bronco's cool. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are looking to burn rubber, so lots of people like the uh, melting the tires off of the Limitless and the felonies and the infractions. So they've come out with an actual licensed Toyo tire. And the Proxus, or whatever you want to call it, I can never say it right. So there's two versions. There's the wider rear, which is kind of, it's got a little bit of a deeper dish. Or the fronts will fit all the way around on, like, say, the infraction or the ones that aren't made with the wider wheel wells on the back. So it is actually a licensed tire. Uh, there is a Toyo tire. It looks exactly the same tread pattern and everything with it. So... I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if it slips, if it smokes, what it does. <laughs> These are uh, for the SEX-6. They are aluminum. They do replace the inner piece of your rims that you already have, and they reuse a lot of the hardware from the stock rims. So basically, you're just chasing, changing out the, the actual fascia part. in the More market. green, man. Better for the environment. Yeah, yeah. But this one's aluminum. So should be stronger than the stock ones, although there was a lot of meat on those stock ones. Oh, yeah, pro strokes. I don't know why it took them so long to come up with actual shocks for the Max. Really? Like, it's been around forever. I thought they'd have these out a long time ago. Dual spring, uh, five mil shaft, so they're a little bit larger shaft. Uh, I guess the jury's – it's to be decided how tough these actually are. I mean, the stock shocks are pretty tough as it is. So I think you're really going to notice a difference with those with the like wide max bodies and stuff like that, right? And then Scorched Parts. So Scorched Parts makes a lot of 3D printed stuff. Um, a lot of stuff they do through their site. They make a lot of stuff for the twin hammers and such. Well, now they've made some titanium links for the Creighton 8S and the Outcast 8S. It is so just it's stronger than the stock stuff, right? And more parts for the B6 6.3, should I say, from J Concepts? They're titanium front spindles. I don't get that front axles. They just really like the B6 line, they make a lot of stuff for it. Plus, they make some really cool monster truck tires, yeah. Because these, I think, these are actually going to fit the max, really. 
And I think for snow wheeling, I think these might be a good tire to try. Those are cool looking. Because they got a really nice aggressive paddle, but I think they might actually work in reverse, unlike the paddle tires that we've been experiencing. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in reverse on those. Right. Things. So they're coming pre-mounted on the new aggressor wheel. They're also coming as a bare bone tire. And also coming pre-mounted on the aggressor wheel will be this uh, uh, Renegade tire as well. The aggressor wheel is coming in four colors, black, white, yellow, and silver, I think. Well, silver, gray, whatever you want to call that. That's what I call it. Diable. So, diable. Well, the white's definitely diable. There's your diable. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I would say then there's the bright green that, you know, Tim is going to buy because everything he owns is bright green. <laughs> right? And then these are the, uh, what do I call them? Renegades. So they're a, a shallower tread. Uh, they're more like the tires that you actually see on the one to one full size monster trucks. Right. So to me is re-releasing this body. So this body used to be out on the TAO TAO three E, which is just a new platform that they made a while ago. Now they've re-released this body, the Opal, on a TTO one chassis. And this is it on the old uh O three TA, whatever it was. Oh yeah, that's old. That's old school. You have one of those in your collection? No. But also, they have released two new compounds of their M-Series tires. So they've got a super soft one, and they have a hard one. Both for outside, intended for outside, and both of them are being used for doing their, like, if you're running outside in the cold on the asphalt. So they got a really soft one. And if you're running out in extreme heat on the asphalt, they've got a harder one that'll last longer for you, right? That'd be great for our crew out here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I saw that. Uh, these badass looking bumpers are made by Andorra and they are for the SCX six and they are full aluminum. They come with lights, but the thing that I like about them the most is the fact they actually come with the hitch. That is probably an eight mil ball that's on there <laughs> with little, like, look at the hooks, look at the toe hooks on there and everything. Like, these are nice. These are really nice. Adds that 40 pound rig. Yeah. And they, you know, they've got a, a pintle hitch style ball, so you'll be able to put a toe strap on there and actually pull something with it. It's full aluminum. Uh, they had the weights and everything in here. I believe they're like uh, 270 grams each or something like that. Let's see what they have here. Oh, yeah, 366 grams for the front and 368 for the rear. But I just like the fact that they come with all the lights and everything already in them. So, machine aluminum and strong, and the little red hooks look good, too. But I kind of have high expectations for stuff for the SCX-6 because the SCX-6 is such a big platform that make machining parts down to fit on that nicely should not be hard at all. Okay? <laughs> Shouldn't be hard to do it at all. So, so, that's everything that comes in the kit for those guys. And then... Now we get to talk about your favorite thing that you're thinking about that you've been all excited about since before we started tonight. This guy? No, not this guy. Coming up, I have pictures of that. Yeah. So it's a lockout slipper clutch. And like I said, it comes with a full set of rubber and everything in there. Different. Um, you can add weight into the, what do you call those? The dogs, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what they're called. We used to change them and do the clutching and stuff on our sleds. And then we got newer machines and I don't have to worry about that anymore. But um, all of these rubbers, all those rings are a different durometer. So they're a different tension. So if you want it, it's like a stall torque converter. If you want it to wind up a little bit more. And free spin a little bit more off the bottom. You change it up, you know, put uh, less weight in. If you Bring want a different tension too, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. You get to play with the tension. There's there's so much adjustment that you can do on these things. It's going to be 
it's going to be another one of those things that's going to make people they're going to have a really cool car and they're going to put this on there and it's going to screw it all up and be <laughs> like that for weeks until they finally figure out how to tune it up and set it up and dial it in right this is going to be really good for the guys who just cannot seem to get the power down to the ground right off the line though yeah so. i think this would be good if it had some ceramic um pads in there. <clears throat> well i'm sure they're coming i'm sure oh, yeah. Those pads in there, I mean, uh, who is it? Brood makes uh, pads for those for the stalkers already. Yeah, the, carbon, the carbon fiber ones, the carbon yeah. Fibers and all that. I'm sure that all those companies that are doing it for the stock setup are going to make them for this. Actually, the stock ones might even fit in this. That'd be cool. Because that looks to me, if you take a look at that that uh, spur gear, that yeah. looks to me like the same Octo pattern as the normal ones, right? Okay. It doesn't make sense for Associated to design a spur gear and all the stuff that won't work with any of the other parts like these slipper pads they already have for it right but they, they could <laughs> they, they could like, they do stuff like that every once in a while right i think it'd be cool because it's going to have some uh slip off the line as you spool up and it gets more locked up like tim likes it yeah fully locked full lock. go straight go straight go fast ish ish yeah yeah, you gotta be steering right to the left to go straight with Tim's cars. Yeah, but he does that's, have a new one. He does have a new one. You're right. So that's pretty much it for this week's new releases. Not really a whole lot. So Horizon likes to do their releases on Thursday mornings now. They used to do them on Wednesdays, and I'm not really sure why they changed them up. But way back they used to do them on Wednesdays, which was kind of nice to find out about them first thing in the morning. Now. You don't find out about them until early in the morning. But I can tell you that it is an SCX24, and I can tell you that it is a Gladiator. So <laughs> that's I, – I just don't have, like, actual still pictures. I don't want to put – I can't put the video up on here because I'll get a copyright strike or some bull crap for that. So we won't do that today. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.